I'm not quite sure, but I think somebody's booked it already. We haven't even taken off. It's travel day. I have four hours now until I jump on the plane. I then have a 13 point, 13 hours and five minutes flight to Singapore, and then have a two hour stopover. Then I have a nine hour and 30 minute flight to New Zealand, and then I somehow get home after that. So, are you ready? First leg of my journey, a drive to the airport. Last night's meal is not going very well within my body. I'm not very happy about that. having a bit of a drama because I've got too much luggage so I've had to go and pay for excess luggage, £100, and now I'm going to try and check in at premium even though I'm not a premium customer. Oh my god, I've just realised that I'm boarding in seven minutes so I've been sitting outside just chatting to some girl and uh, now I'm running late which is not good. So. I have to run. I didn't bloody um, take all my liquids out of my uh, aeroplane bag. So I got pinged for my jewellery as I went through the security thing. And then I got pinged for the liquids in my bag that weren't in a plastic bag. And now I'm running to the gate. And as I came through, I ran right and I was supposed to have run left. So, oh my God, the things I get myself into. I like Frank Sinatra. I think it's actually quite good because I was just sitting outside chatting and I haven't had a chance to think about the fact that I'm about to get on a plane because now I'm running late. I've got to really peg it along. Um, I hate it that when I walk, I always am out of breath. Caution. Oh no, the travel is not working on the other side. Oh, I'm getting so hot, I need to take off my jumper. I've arrived at the gate just in time. I've been to the loo like four times. Lovely aeroplane socks. I'm trying to quickly get them on before I get on my flight. I hate these things, but that's so difficult to get on. <sighs> aeroplane socks are on. That's my flight and I'm ready to go. Goodbye rainy England. I'm in my seat and it's very cramped, but um, this is me for the next 13 hours. Um, I'm not quite sure, but I think somebody's booked it already. We haven't even taken off. So far, Singapore Airlines has been amazing. I got a, a hot towel um, to wipe my hands with. I've now been given a menu, a menu. Um, and uh, 
speaking, my name is Don Casey. Hope you had a crew. I'd like to welcome all of you. Goodness, alcoholic beverages. Goodness, appetizer. Main dessert from the bakery. Delectables. This is very fresh. London to Singapore. For lunch, we have a baby shrimp with potato salad. A main course, there's like a whole barrage of things. And should you fancy a snack or something more substantial, they've got sandwiches, chips, and fresh fruits. Why haven't I flown Singapore Airlines before? I ask myself. I have been a loyal customer to Air New Zealand, but you know what? I might change. I think it's time to maybe do a change. I don't have anyone sitting next to me. I'm so happy. And for the first time in forever, I haven't had to ask for a seatbelt extension. I'm thin enough to fly with Singapore Airlines, not with anybody else. And somebody has really bad farts, and it's not me. And it's really bad. Like, really bad. Absolute must for the flight. Bloody Mary. Lovely. Perfect. I'm going to attempt to have a sleep. Probably not going to work with my stupid aeroplane pillow. This thing is so useless, it's so enormous. Anyway, we'll give it a try. Landed in Singapore. And it's like midnight for me or something. I don't really know. I'm really kind of off my face tired. But yeah, at the airport. This is so funny. So I'm panicking because I don't know where I'm supposed to be. And I'm trying to get to Terminal 3. And I'm actually in Terminal 3 already. We landed in Terminal 3. I didn't say that on my ticket. So they were, they were playing with my mind. But this looks like a very fancy airport. Well, this is interesting. They have a butterfly house at the airport that you can just go in and have a look at the butterflies. How random is this? Oh, look at that. How lovely. Wow. nice. It's very hot and sweaty in here, so I can't stay. It's doing my head in. Not too hot. Oh, back into the air conditioning. Okay, I need to go find my gate. Man, this airport is huge. I've just been on, I don't know, about six travelators coming from that way down to here. So what's this here, B10, departing Auckland. Oh, ship boarding, okay. That's my plane. It's really small. Taking me home. Oh my God. Hi. Lovely, welcome to Premium so now I'm doing premium economy from Singapore to Auckland and I'm beginning to realize that premium economy isn't actually that good for anybody who has a massive behind like myself because I don't fit in the seat and it's really uncomfortable and I don't know if you can see that but it's like liposuction please. 
anytime soon would be great. believe my luck I have a bed in, um, in economy a sky couch good night so I got upgraded weird one um, I got upgraded um, to uh, premium economy which I thought was very exciting probably can't even hear me. But then, the seat was too small, so they gave me a sky couch, and I've been asleep. I feel amazing. And yes, I did all of that while we It's 10.30, I've landed. I'm in New Zealand. I'm amazed that I'm actually really awake. I had such a good sleep on the plane. And I'm feeling really good. Finally, I've made it home. And I can go to bed. Hooray! What an amazing 30 hours. I hate it, but I love it. It's so good to see my boys. And now i just got to get back into New Zealand time. I can do it. Hey, look, if you like my video, give me a, a, a thumbs up, please, and do comment below and hit that subscribe button because I'd love to get to know you guys. Comment away and I'll catch you next time. See ya.